All right, guys. So uh, we're going to talk about flipping jigs today. Uh, one of my favorite favorite things to throw. I really like really like throwing flipping jigs and uh, brush piles, lay down things like that uh, along grass lines, in the grass, uh, whether it be hydrilla or milfoil or whatever. Um, I throw flipping jigs in wood. I I hear some guys say that you can't uh, that you have to have a casting jig, but I don't own one casting jig, uh, and I have flipped flipping jigs and brush for many years now, and I've never had a problem. Never once felt that I uh, get hung up too much. Really get hung up very seldom. Uh, I don't get hung up any more than I do throwing a Texas jig on an EWG with the hook buried in the bait. I just I don't really get hung up that much with them. Uh, could be the specific ones I'm using but I've used several over the years uh, kind of landed on one that I really like now uh, but that's uh, so we'll go ahead and start with flipping jigs flipping jigs are made for cover whether that cover be grass uh, in my opinion lay downs wood things like that um, the heads are designed with a point similar to a swim jig as you can see the heads are very similar to a swim jig and that is to help them get through grass they cut through the grass better it spreads the grass apart letting the jig get through um, and just like every jig out there they come with a brush guard or a weed guard and then of course the skirt uh, these are the mini maw from riot these are the tungsten ones the tungsten I just recently switched over to them huge upgrade I highly recommend uh, finding tungsten jigs uh, if uh, if your jig company doesn't make them in tungsten I highly recommend the uh, mini maw from riot they are technically a compact jig but uh, towards the end of the video I'll show you how the compact mini maw compares to a what, what would you call a full sized or a normal jig uh, and kind of my background with that um, so I keep my uh, weights very simple and I keep, you're going to find I keep my jigs super simple in all. Uh, I keep three weights, I keep them all in one box, I keep three eighths, half and three quarter and I have them labeled right there, flipping jigs, I don't know if you can see it because of the light, but here they say flipping jigs. Highly recommend investing in a label maker. Uh, definitely one of the best twenty or thirty dollars I've spent when it comes to tackle organization. Um, so, like I said, I keep everything super simple. I only have five colors. That's that's it. That's all I really keep. I'm thinking about. I'm probably going to add a sixth, uh, but we'll see. Uh, first, I start with, of course, a black and blue. Everyone has a black and blue. Everyone knows that black and blue is a great jig color. Um, next, green pumpkin. And these are in no uh, specific order of how much I like them. This is just how I order them in my box. Green pumpkin. I really like to have a green pumpkin on hand. Brown. Uh, I really like to have a brown jig. Really, really like to throw them. I like to have a Okeechobee Craw or a Tidal Blue depending on or whatever the company wants to call them but really like to have that color and then my fifth color, color I opt for a spin on one of the colors that I use um, and you could call the Okeechobee Craw a spin on Green Pumpkin because that's, that's exactly what it is and I'll get into why I have that one when I go over keeping it simple um, my fifth color I choose to have some type of green pumpkin but with some shock color this one has orange and some chartreuse in it it's hard to see or wait no this one doesn't have any chartreuse it just has some green flake uh, or a peanut butter jelly I know some guys this is a primary color for them not so much for me uh, I like to have this kind of for a extra color to have around uh, if I can really get the fish keyed in you know, I've, I've got some other stuff that are kind of similar to this that uh, if they kind of pattern on it through the day, I might go ahead and pick this up and skip the brown. Here's another one I have 
There's no specific. This one has a ton of orange and brown in it. This has zero like bright green flake. It's just a green pumpkin and all that. So uh, we'll go ahead and talk about color real quick since we're on it. I keep super simple. If you don't have any jigs or you're just getting into jig fishing, I recommend three colors, black and blue, green pumpkin, and brown. Those are the only three colors you need. You can do everything that I do with my jigs with those three colors because those are the base colors, what I would call them. Uh, as far as the Okeechobee Craw or Tidal Blue, why I keep one is because that is just one of my confidence colors. Uh, a lot of the areas that I fish are predominantly bluegill, um, so the bass are constantly eating, well, seems like a lot of bluegill and craw. So this imitates a bluegill really, really well. That's that's why I have them. They, uh, it's a big confidence thing for me, plus it matches the forage, which is something I recommend you look into. Uh, and Study the forage that's on your home bodies of water, whether you just have one or several. Um, that's all you need, and we'll get into with trailers too, and why you only need those three colors. So, there's only two types of trailers that I use for a flipping jig. I use a tantrum, which is your regular chunk, or chunk crawl, or crawl chunk, or whatever you want to call them. Uh, some others are like the Paca, uh, the Net Baits Paca chunk, uh, the Zoom uh, Super Chunk, I, don't, I think that's what they're called. Um, this is my favorite one to throw. This is the tantrum, like I said, from Riot. Um, and then the Little Fuzzy. And this is exactly like the Riot Baits Fuzzy Beaver, just smaller. Um, same thing, same type of action. It's a very dead action, like a beaver. Beavers are, are supposed to be a dead action bait. Uh, but they move a lot of water uh, in the profile, which is really good underwater. Um, these little ridges, they... Uh, if you guys look on the website, you'll you can read more on them. They're they're really good. Um, whenever I get my color, uh, usually it's through the trailer, and that's how uh, a lot of people do it, and it's it's a lot easier to do. So um, we'll go ahead and put a trailer on one. This is uh, we'll start with a green pumpkin. That's the mini mall. And we'll go ahead and put a tantrum on it. That's kind of the common one I throw. So if I want a, if I want some red, I'll grab a green pumpkin red or color is riot. Um, if I want some, and here's the thing: if you don't have that Okeechobee craw, you can get some sapphire blue trailers to go with it. Um, you can also buy them in tidal blue, which is a very um, very easy glue, doesn't have a whole lot, this is more of an accent. Um, but we'll just go ahead and throw on uh, this one. This is Slayer. This is one of my, this is also another confidence color I have. It's a green pumpkin, kind of a deep uh, purple June bug almost. Uh, not so much plum, so, but it's a really good color. Had a lot of luck with it. We'll just go ahead and throw that on there, thread it up the hook, and then that is how it looks with that. So now I took a normal green pumpkin jig and put some color in it, put a little life into it, and that is how you use the trailer um, to get the colors you want, and that keeps you from having to buy um, all kinds of different jigs and trying to keep them all in a box and because by the time like I said I keep five colors getting ready to add a six one which we'll throw in at the end of the video my box is pretty much full because I have five to six jigs of every weight and that's three eighths half and three quarters what I keep on hand I don't really have any, any need for anything heavier uh, possibly in the future but not right now um, not where I'm fishing but that's a tantrum and now we'll go ahead and throw on a little fuzzy on black and blue. This is probably my favorite one to throw on there. Um, shoot. 
Also one tip for anything, really, but one thing that I like to do is on all my jigs, I go and sharpen the hooks myself. Uh, I have a hook sharpener right here. This is like five, six dollars at Bass Pro. Uh, comes with a, has a coarse side and a finer side. I go through and sharpen uh, all of them. Um, the rise I don't have to, the mini mods I don't have to uh, sharpen at all. They come super sharp still uh, in the package and they stay sharp. Um, even after a lot of fish and getting uh, bumping around brush piles and grass dulling them and they stay very sharp. Um, but every now and then I'll hit them if I feel like they're just to maintain that stickiness to them. So there is the little fuzzy on there. And you can see there is a pretty big difference in size and profile between the little fuzzy and the tantrum. Now this trailer or this jig skirt is a little long for this uh, trailer because I mainly trim them to fit these because I fish it with this a little more often. But I find having the uh, the jig trailer about that length does just fine with these tantrum trailers. If you get in some other trailers, you may run into problems. That's why it's important to uh, test them. Uh, get them in some water where you can see whether that be a pool um, Even if you just have a big bowl in the house just fill it with water and let your bait kind of fall down and see what it's doing That is important to do So now I'll go ahead and grab what you would call a full-size jig. This is a dirty jigs uh, I think tour jig No jack tour jig Big fan of these. These are really good. Um I do like these, but uh, I really liked having the really liked the mini mods. It's kind of where I'm switching. I've pretty much got all of my jigs in there now to mini mods. So I really like having the tungsten. The tungsten is a huge advantage in everything, really. So there for comparison, size comparison. This is a three quarter ounce jig right here so it's bigger already over this one which is a half same trailer same everything there's really no difference so uh, where you get the compact size is the hook um, I've had great luck with this hook uh, I don't have any problems uh, strength wise it's tons of backbone it's a very good hook it's got a little flex to keep it from breaking but it's not going to bend out on you unless you just get super crazy. And uh, I am a big proponent of heavy flipping gear. And I'm going to get into uh, why the compact uh, anything really shouldn't scare you when it comes to, to these, these mini mod jigs. Um, I fish on usually a 7.6 or a 7.11 heavy, fast, straight braid. Most of the time, uh, it's usually 50 pound. If anything, I'll throw on a leader, have a fluorocarbon, which is also very little stretch, and I hammer the fish every time I get a bite. And uh, used to, I have always bought jigs with super, super heavy hooks. And there's nothing wrong with the heavy hook. Uh, if anything, it's just kind of extra insurance. But I have found that uh, really I can hit fish with this hook. That's on these compact jigs or the mini mod jig, the exact same way I do these full size jigs, as you call them, with the big, heavy, beefy hooks. And I've never had a problem. I've pulled some sizable size fish uh, out of some pretty heavy cover. Never had a problem. Uh, whenever, whenever I'm fishing in cover, period, whether it's a jig or a Texas rig. Um, I hammer the hook home and I am immediately reeling them in. Uh, I'm not pulling on them. I'm not, I'm not letting them do anything. I'm skidding them across the water, getting them in the boat. Um, you know, we can, we can mess around when they're in the boat. But, uh, and I have no problem. I horse fish out of anything with the heaviest gear that you can really fish. And I don't have any problems with these. Um, so... Like I said, I'll go ahead and show you that last color I'm getting ready to add. And it's called a Missouri Craw, and a lot of you guys have seen it, most likely. It is chartreuse brown and black. Now this is also a mini maw. This is an older lead head. 
uh, it's been great. Uh, I've caught several fish on these. Um, I'm kind of testing the waters with this color, seeing how it does for me. Um, chartreuse has always been kind of hit and miss for me, personally. That's not the case for everyone, just in my experience on the waters that I fish, chartreuse doesn't always seem to be the ticket like how others, how it is for others. Uh, but it's for the same for everyone. Some people don't have any luck on a brown jig. I do. I like to fish brown jigs. But uh, I'm kind of testing the water with these, kind of seeing how these go. Uh, so far, I'm really liking them. I'm, I'm probably go most likely going to uh, add that as a official color for me. Um, but in all reality, um, if you want to fish something that color, and these are the only jigs you have because they're all you need, just get a... Uh, just get a chartreuse trailer or get a trailer and dip it or if you have a zoom marker chartreuse one just use it um, that's probably the best way to do it um, that way you're not going out and buying another jig that you're never going to use um, you know I I buy what I use and that goes for everything so jigs keep them simple don't think too hard about them they're very simple uh, they're easy to fish uh, uh, we'll have I'll have some videos up soon hopefully on how to fish some of these things uh, just whenever I get home and I'm out in the boat on the water actually catching fish um, is when I'll show you I'd rather be on the water showing you how to fish it than trying to tell you how to fish it so we'll have some of those videos coming up soon uh, so keep with the channel make sure to like subscribe uh, down in the description box below I will have discount codes to the uh, or for all the riot anything on riot I have a 15% down or 15% uh, discount code and uh, I'll also leave a link to Riot's website so uh, alrighty thank you guys God bless